State again. He said, will, they, will the guidance counselor do college counseling? For the first year, yes, but there will be somebody specifically in the College and Career Center. I don't know if you had an opportunity to visit Jackson Reed. They have this nice room, I call it, but a nice room where they have individuals who are in there, and their sole purpose is to ensure that they support the students in the process of college and career. There will be, um, what do you call those? Not just career fairs and college fairs, but there will also be tours that will be offered. Right now, I know on the table, GW, American, Georgetown, I can't think of the four school off the top of my head, I believe it's Howard University, are the first four schools that we're targeting for partnerships going in. But one of the things I do want to make clear that, you know, they say that, you know, some students may not go to college. I don't know that. In my mind, everybody that walks through that door, I'm sending to college. Now, what they do when they leave is a different story. But I want a 100% graduation rate. We are going to be focusing on colleges and careers. That's just what we're built to do. What they do after they leave is different, but that's what we're starting off with, with the foundation. Yes, ma'am. Great question. The time frame is like, sorry, when they should arrive. And so, great question. So, right now, I want to say 9 to 345. Don't stamp me on that just yet because I got to get approval. But um, the first class will start at 9 and then they will get out at 345. Yeah, that, that's too long. Welcome to high school. Uh, we, we've come to work. So what you'll notice that a lot of high schools, um, they have flexibility when on scheduling. So you'll see some high schools changing their schedule this year. Great question. She said, how long is each period? Uh, off the top of my head, I believe it's 82 minutes per class. Oh, don't worry. I know you're like, oh my God, that's such a long time. You're going to be so engaged, the time going to fly by so fast, you're not even going to realize it. 40 minutes. How long do you need for lunch? 50 minutes? Oh, okay. Well, you get the 10 minutes when you leave at 345. There's your 10 minutes added to it. I think you found your SGA. Huh? Not right. Y'all have it. You and Isaac, y'all might as well come on and get together. Future leaders. Yes, sir. Ask the question is, um, do I see the partnerships being able to benefit from those who are coming into the door? And Isaac, I want to say yes. When we sit down and we have conversations with these individuals, I'm not just asking you to partner with us because it looks nice on paper. I'm asking you to partner with us because what is it going to do for our students? What are we going to get out of the deal? That's what we're asking for. So when you see those individual partnerships, it's not just, oh, you look nice coming here and you're just tutoring us. How do we ensure that our students' application gets across at George Washington University? What is it that they didn't necessarily have to do? How do we um, set our students up for success? One of the classes, um, I haven't got the approval yet, but we're trying to get street law, which is taught by the Georgetown, is it Georgetown or George Washington law students, but one of them, and just in case, we're, GW, um, and just in case you know students, and again, we're exposing them to the different types of career fields that they can choose as they um, get into college and begin to write their stories as global citizens, but that's what the idea is. So any partnership Isaac, that we bring in, let's believe that there's a benefit behind it. Great question. Yes, sir. Great question. He said, what is the mental health team going to be compromised of for the first school year? Well, for the first year, it's going to be the school psychologist, the school social worker, the school guidance counselor, both administrators, and the dean of students. Yes, sir. Great question. He said, does the basketball team have a sponsor? I think you will be pleasantly surprised with your athletic director who work for Nike and Adidas. So there's, um, there's some connection there. Um, and of course, we have to go through the proper channels with the District of Columbia Public Schools, but yes, there will be sponsorships for the teams. Yes, sir. So, Good. Um, so in, in terms of what we may see at Jackson Reed or any DCPS or anything, um, what, what would you say what, what is like a standard part besides just being a new school? What would you say is a standard part about the project? Like a standalone or what would you take pride in? You know what I mean? 
Gotcha. So I'm going to answer this in kind of two, three ways. So he wants to know what is going to be the standout about Mick Alford that separates us from everybody else. Well, one, our unique size and where our location is. We have access to a lot of the universities that some of the schools across the city, not saying they can't get access to, but we're just closer. The second thing is we're trying to build a STEAM school. There's not really a high school that really focuses on STEAM and have a major focus on the arts and science and technology at the same time. When it's all said and done, and I'm saying this on record so you can kill me later, but I'm trying to make sure that we develop an aerospace engineering and aviation technology program, like a specific program at this particular school, because while we have courses built around it, we want to have a full academy around it. Um, I worked in Prince George's County where they have only one, which was at Duval High School. I didn't help start it, but once I got there to be the resident principal, I saw how it was operating. And I still keep in touch with some of those students who are now pilots and engineers and folks that work at NASA. And I saw the benefit from it. And I said, wow, what it would be like to have one at DCGS. So that's the legacy that I would like to see for our school. Um, and you'll be able to see, and, and we're offering honor courses out the door because we want to ensure that students who are making a commitment to come to the school understand the seriousness of what happens. That's why the importance of what happens if the student is slotted. That's when the MTSS comes in and making sure the communication with the parents and the tutoring and that commitment to ensure that the students are going to be successful. That's what we're looking at when we talk about MacArthur High School or whatever the name is going to be eventually, but for the sake of it, MacArthur. Yes, sir. what league is the DCIAA and then you're talking about which sport? Basketball? The square foot of the campus? Well that's a really good question. What is the square footage of the campus? I know, I want to say, somebody said it. It is big. It's in the 90s. So it, it is big and I know this conversation because certain individuals get paid on top of the school. So it is definitely in the to be exact, yep. Great question. So, no, the students will, so the question was, will students be responsible for getting community service hours on their own, and are we partnering with some of the local businesses? The answer is yes, we are. I know we started with the school library already um, to talk about some of the serving learners, um, service learning hours. Um, the whole purpose that I had in my head for the college and career coordinator was to be able to support the students with getting those internships. Just for the first year, the guidance counselor and the dean will be doing that work to ensure, but the following year when we get one, that will be their main responsibility as well. Because they'll be working in conjunction with the guidance counselor to ensure that when we, by the time these students get to 11th grade, all service learning hours should be done. It should not be that hard. I mean, it sounds hard, but 100 hours is very quickly you can get those before you graduate from high school. And then some people just continue on just because they enjoy that work. But understanding that the service learning, so we are partnering with some, what is, I say the, the bookstore wrong all the way. Pros? Politics and pros? Yes. So, yeah, so May, what's the date? May 27th is our first um, fundraiser with them. That was an organization that partnered with us to bring funds to our PT, oh, if I'm not mistaken. For the Friends of McAuliffe? Yes. So anyway, getting money to the school, which is important, but yes. Question? Oh. I just got some great information. And so the question was around, um, will there be other time? Okay, sorry. Um, 
the question was around, will we be offering other areas around the engineering um, for our students? And the answer is yes, and I can't go too deep just because we're waiting. We, we've identified the staff member already. I just can't say the name yet, but we have identified the staff member. And once they come in, they'll work with our NAF director, which will be in schools, and they'll kind of talk about the tracks and the courses that the students will take and what we'll be offering just for our first year. That's going to be, because most ninth graders will only be able to take one course anyway. And if they decide to do the engineering program, that will be the first course. Yep. I'm, I'm getting my, my flag. Yes, ma'am. So for the block schedule, what is a, uh, what would the schedule look like? So three after five and then the lunch period, or it's four after five and For the block schedule, what would that actually look like? Great question. It would be four periods and a lunch schedule. Yep. And then on the first day, I would, well, on Monday, I believe it will have all eight classes. Mm -hmm. Well, folks, I want to thank you for coming out. Um, thank you so much. It has been a wonderful opportunity. Um, I don't know if you know, well, they don't, but the, the staff know. I've been on paternity leave for the month of March. I just had my third baby girl. I'm truly a girl dad. Um, I will be coming back to work next week. It is time to get back to the business, although I never stopped working, so I was still doing it. When the baby go to sleep, I gotta work in the middle of the night. We just gotta make it happen. But um, thank you so much. I'm really looking forward to everything that we're gonna bring. Hopefully you will choose an author as your choice. Um, I will be here March 31st for enrollment. You'll be seeing me, we'll have on our McAuthor t-shirts and we'll be here. We will be, I'll be making all the noise with the horns. Hopefully Principal Johnson will kick me out. But just being really excited about having you come over to an author. Um, I want them to speak before we go away to talk about how they can sign up for the tour if they're interested. Um, and if you have any additional questions, you can call that number, although I don't answer it. One of our lovely ladies does, and the message gets right to me. Or if you need to email me directly, um, I'm very quick to respond. Harold.McCray at k12.dc.gov. And it, all that's on the landing page for you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, so anybody here who did not get an email today about touring MacArthur, touring the building on April 10th. That's a PD day, so kids should not be in school, should be available to do a tour. If you're a hardy eighth grader, you should have gotten that email. If you didn't see it, come and talk to us. If you're not a hardy eighth grader and you wanna go on the tour, and you've shown your interest here tonight, come talk to us. We'd love to get folks into the building so you can get a sense. It's, it's not finished, it's in construction, but we want to get people into that, into that building. All right.